Hello everyone, this is Tarvish with another Fresh from the Theater review, and today I'm going to be talking about It Chapter 2. Not sure what all needs to be said about this movie. It was a definite improvement over the first one, a lot more uh, psychological horror, which It is known for. Uh, they did a lot more uh, variation on scares and his uh, transforming into other things. He's not just, you know, running at you and, you know, shaking his head really fast anymore. We get to see him do a lot more of his stalking and luring children to him. There's the one scene with the little girl underneath the uh, benches at the baseball game. There's also the scene in the mirror house where he goes after the skateboard kid. I liked the way that the uh, adults were presented in this movie. Mike is a lot more manic. He's a lot more uh, desperate to do what needs to be done. He wants to, he, he's almost fanatical about getting rid of it. Whereas um, uh, most of the cast is, you know, very hesitant or just truly terrified. That doesn't really come across in the older version, I, I don't think, personally. Uh, I thought in the older version, they were like slightly hesitant, but then were all super gung-ho. In this one, their their emotional states kind of stay the same. They they If they were hesitant to begin with, they stay hesitant. If they were frightened to begin with, they stay frightened. I think that when they hit on some of the subplots that they didn't hit in the original movie, like the gay couple being beaten and then uh, tossed under the bridge and It eats them was a good addition. I like the way It messed with Beverly uh, in her adult stage. I, that was a really uh, creepy scene. It, it, it worked for me. I'm not really a fan of the whole, you know, Native American Indian ritual thing, but I, I get it. I understand uh, what they were going for with it. Uh, other than that, the movie was pretty good. It had a good, solid variation on uh, what they were doing with it and what they were doing with the flashbacks of the Losers Club. Some of the things I didn't understand, like the note that Beverly gets, the poem, it was actually a pretty big deal. And they made a bigger deal of it in the made-for-TV series than they did in this movie. In this movie, all of a sudden, it's just like this thing that she had. You know, she's just completely in love with the person that she thinks it was, but it's nothing, it's not all that big of a thing. It's just something she has to burn now. Um, I'm not sure exactly how the underground losers club was built out of giant logs and supporting walls of, you know, soil and stuff like that by one person and nobody ever noticed him doing it. And the other thing that I didn't like, and this will probably be a little bit controversial, but I didn't like it, was making Richie gay. He wasn't gay in the book. There was no hints that he was gay in the book. In his childhood days, he would set, like, beaver traps, is what he would call them, so that he could either see naked women or, you know, do something to a woman. And in his adult life, he was known as a ladies' man, almost a sexual compulsive uh, with women. He got a vasectomy so that he could just have sex freely without ever having to worry about getting them pregnant. The only thing that people try and point to to say that, yeah, he was gay or he was curious or anything like that was when he called Eddie uh, cute, cute, cute. But they forget the context of that was that Richie was a shit talker and Richie liked to get under everybody's skin just for the laughs. And when he did that, he knew it was something that his mother did to Eddie. So he was mocking Eddie by saying that and making fun of both Eddie and his mother at the same time. You could contextually see that maybe Eddie was uh, gay or curious or something like that, but not Richie. Once again, I don't have any problem with gay people, lesbians, or anything like that. I just don't think it was a necessary addition to the movie. Other than that, I think the cast played their parts well. I really loved the end, where the, like the final confrontation. It was so much better and so much more involved than uh, the made-for-TV series, where they basically all come together, hold hands, and stab the giant cockroach to death. I think the movie uh, pulled it off so much better. This was a definite improvement over the original, just because, the, like I said, the variations on kills, on scares, on the part of it. Uh, I think the adults sort of lose that camaraderie uh, that you get from the original Losers Club when they're cl when they're kids, but that's to be expected because of you know what all they've gone through and they're just now coming together and they're trying to remember everything. I did like the subplot with Eddie Bauer. 
that was kind of a tongue-in-cheek sort of like old school 80s sort of thing that with with his zombie friend coming back and giving him a knife and giving him a ride and you know helping him out that was a fun uh, little uh, story i thought but yeah the movie was good i recommend you see it i'm sure you already have or are planning to uh, when it comes out on DVD, I'm hoping that they'll come out with both Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 so that I can do a full-on review because I consider both movies to actually be part of, you know, the one movie, just like the uh, original series was all one thing. It was just cut up into uh, TV episodes. And I'd like to do a singular movie review on uh, both chapters. Those are my thoughts on the new It movie. I think you should go out and see it. If you enjoyed it, let me know what you enjoyed. If you didn't, let me know what you didn't enjoy. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a like. If you didn't, feel free to give it a dislike and tell me why on the channel. Once again, I'm just going to point this out. I have nothing against gay people, black people, lesbians, anything like that. I just didn't like that they changed the character just to change the character. It's, I, I never like that when it comes to uh, book and movie translations or any kind of translation. It don't change the character just because. Definitely give it a look. I hope you all have a great day, and as always, stay positive.